Yeah, I tell you, camera. Huh? There's a camera button at the bottom. There you go, look. <laughs> yeah, right, boy. What's happening? Not a it's hard. Oh, look, there he is. How are we doing? <laughs> All right. What's the crack? What is the crack? <laughs> you know how I said I weren't going to drink? Yeah. What are we drinking tonight, boys? I'm all out. You're all out? Yeah, I've done so. I've ended up with a big gulp. I've actually... got no beers left. Yeah, I've, got, I've got wine. <laughs> I've got a bottle of wine here in case I run out as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's an animal. An absolute animal. Are you at the unit, Ollie? Where are you? No, I'm at home. Oh, I thought you were in a car. I only glanced at that. No, he's in his sim. I get you. I get you. <laughs> sim set up. Look, I'm in the garden. <laughs> Show us the surroundings, Wooden. Garden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so what have we been doing, boys? What have we been doing on lockdown? Bored shitless. Just not been working out? Nah. I've been to the units like twice, I think. You don't it. work anyway, he's an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> not that kind of athlete. <laughs> oh, yeah, not that one. What about you, Ale? What have you been up to? Not much, just on the sim. Just, yeah, fuck all. Oh, Smashing the, the seat thing. down. Getting some seat time in, but it's not the same, is it? No. I was like, I had a go on the, um, I downloaded, uh, it was a Gran Turismo and was racing a championship last night for a bit, but, yeah. It's not the same thing as the real, the real deal. Did you win? Okay, yeah, I did actually. <laughs> I actually. And I took a photo to prove it. <laughs> First time you won in a while, yeah? Wee. <laughs> prove it. What, um, what car did you use? What engine were in it? Were it an SR? No, 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 no. It was a GT racing event, so it was an R35 GT car. Huh. Yeah, and that's just, you know, grip stuff. Pretty boring. Yeah, not interested. No, not bothered. Not bothered. <laughs> None of that sideways stuff. No, no, no. Well, I tell you what, I was a little bit out of shape a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, wasn't didn't mean to do it, but it was what, all right. about it? your fitness levels? Are you driving or what? I tell you what, I tell you something now. I've been doing a hundred press ups a day for the last what was done eleven. I think on eleven or twelve days now. So yeah. You can tell, mate, you're looking quite massive. <laughs> I said, quite massive. I'm going to start walking through doors sideways and shit all swelled up. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's been doing a bit of exercise today. He's done 27 mile on an electric bike. 27 mile. <laughs> Don't count, does it? <laughs> of course it does. Yeah, that, that doesn't count out the 27 beers that he drank last night, though, does it? <laughs> it was wine, mate. It was wine, actually. Rose. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was wine night last night. Tomorrow we're having Pop and Crisps night. <laughs> We've been drinking a bit too much. Oh, so what's new? What do we know apart from this? No one knows anything. That's the problem. Nobody knows anything. No one's been doing anything. That's why we've been doing this every night, just to catch up with folks, see what everybody's been doing. Bad which, man. Which it always turns out to be not a great deal. No, it's bad. It is bad. I don't know what's going on. I need. I went to the unit. I think yesterday. Because it's, it's literally just up the road, so... Is that an essential trip? It was, yeah, it was. Because I got my shopping on the way back. Um, <laughs> Timed it in, good man. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's about it, really. It's been pretty... It's pretty boring. I mean, doing shit around the house, trying to keep busy, is quite difficult. But I'm on the sim. That, to be fair, like I've been on the sim doing bits. I've been doing bits for social media for Monster and that. Like We've been having a good time doing... It's called Crush Quarantine. There was like different ideas and stuff, which is quite cool. Um, started a TikTok account as well now. All the, it's all the rage apparently. Oh, I like, didn't realise oh, cool you were a paedophile. Yeah, yeah, all the kids have got it, so we're on that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so let's get into it. A bit of your drift history, Luke. We'll start off with you. Where did you start? Where did it, what happened? How did you get into it? Oh man, um, Silverstone. Silverstone license in day was it silver? Yeah, it was. It's Silverstone license in day in 2012, I think. Or 30. what that was your first drift event? That was my second or third drift event. Was a, was a license in day. Right. Had not, do you know what I mean? You, you know, when you get into it, I used to do obviously street host bad kids, but used to do a bit of that um, with a few people. 
and then it was Lydon Hill round one BDC semi pro was was it 2013 I think it was was my first my third ever drift day. You can imagine hey. like, going down Lydon Hill thinking, yeah, I got this, and then it was like, no, nah, this is a different league. Like, where did you finish on your first round? Uh, I think I got into the top 16. I think, but nothing special, nothing to. Nothing to write home about. And then at the same time, it was Jim Carnes kicked off. But you were doing the barrels before, weren't you? Yeah, I did that. That was quite good, like car, learning car control. Um, and then, yeah, then Jim Carnes kicked off, so we did that. Then obviously, yeah, from then it just snowballed then. Like, it went mental. Um, How did you get on with, like, the monster stuff? How did that all kick off? So that kicked off with, I did an event. Uh, that was at Silverstone as well, a qualifier for Jim Carner Grid. And then I won that one. Did I win that one? I think I won that one. And then got in, yeah, I won that one, got invited to the finals in Santa Pod. Then I finished second. And Remo Nitsen beat me. And as he was doing a speech, like his, his winning kind of talk thing, I just did the dirtiest burnout the whole way across the circuit and just sat on the spot. <laughs> Literally just sat there, just, and it was still probably one of the best burnouts I've ever done. Just sat there and smoked it the whole place out and then I got a phone call saying do you want to come into the office in Monster and I was like a bit like mm, I don't know what this is about so I went down there did the trial year that's when my car was in I'd have been you'd have seen it around one BDC it was purple and it had the monster claw but like a shield on the side of it yeah yeah um, and that was kind of my trial year and then it just kicked off yeah just snowballed and then competed in grid um, drifted all over the place, competitions like Gapville, um, DHB in Norway, done all the World Rallycross like demos, um, BDC, done King of Europe as well, Lynn Hill. That's probably one of the best events results wise. Drifting, I finished in is it sixth, I think it was, in like King of Europe, so it's the highest really? place UK driver. That was quite cool. Underpowered, obviously, SR, but because I drifted at Lydon Hill, I kind of knew the style, but yeah. And then obviously BDC with you, dickheads. <laughs> oh yeah, I meant to pull you on that on the little video you did for BDC. Yeah, not about the hairdressing stuff. I get that enough. But uh, <laughs> you did say that you 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 used to play football and throw frisbees with me, Matt and Ben. I don't know if you you, you that was just a blatant lie because none of us have ever kicked a football. I've got, I've got a video. <laughs> if you look, yeah, there's a video. I think Samco Sport done it, and we were in the pits and we were throwing the frisbee to you boys. <laughs> so Adam, you're a you're a blatant liar then. Yeah. All oh, right. Video. Clearly, I must have been pissed. I can't remember. Oh, That's yeah. First, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, you might have been actually, but yeah, no. Just we were saying like reminiscing back in the day, like how it used to be. Yeah, like slide and then there was me parts up and then it was like jack speed and that and then we always just like mess around you kind of forgot that it was actually a competition we were there doing <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fun, do you know what I mean it was like oh shit oh, what we, why have we got to go and drive now oh yeah we're here because we're doing the British Drift Championship <laughs> so hopefully we can get that back on track and um, yeah have have some fun doing that oh, just to get on track would be nice wouldn't it over oh, yeah. the last few years and stuff you've like not really been competing and just doing all the demos for Monster and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. What sort of places do you go to? Like, what? Um, the crowds and all stuff like that. I bet there were some pretty good events. Like, yeah, the World World Rallycross was like, it, um, it's unreal. Like, I can't, the the crowd and just, like, Norway, if you go to hell, the actual place is called hell. The track's called hell in Norway. It's, it's, it's Sounds miles good. Up. It's mental. It's like, I like 50, 60,000 people. And they are proper avid fans. Do you know what I mean? Like they get behind the drivers. They have their favourites, and they really like bring the sport on. Um, same as Hulliers in Sweden as well. Like that's mental. Loak in France, are eighty thousand people in France, and it's mm. insane. So if we can get something like that, we've got the British Drift Championship people supporting the drivers, which I think the positive to come from all this shit that's going on now is people want to get out of their houses. So they will want yeah. to come to the event. So I think, you know, that's a positive to come out of it. So, yeah, it's just been insane. Like, we've done done um, a few competitions, like Gapville, we did the drift comp there, um, the power slide comp. But, you know, you, you 
you do it more for fun because you, there's no chance you're going to win it in what I had, like it was 380 yeah. minutes KSR, because you've got the likes of like Freddie Asbo and that there. So, but yeah, so uh, it's been eventful to say the least. <laughs> What's Ollie laughing at? Are you doing that SR fucking. Have <laughs> you clicked on that? Have you still, still got one of those? I don't know if you've watched any of them. You know, any of the other videos, me and Matt had like a little bit of a drinking game, so we'd pick, we'd pick a thing that we thought you'd both say. And every time we said it, we'd have a swig. SR. SR, yeah. Today we're SR. Yeah. So. Oh, no. it's not it straight away. I knew Ollie clocked it. <laughs> One of the times, I couldn't keep a straight face. Because <laughs> you didn't say either. I was like, are they still doing it? And, yeah. So yeah, what about you, you Ollie? Where did you start? Um, so I brought a BM E3628 in 2016 as a like daily road car. New kid on the block, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. Like um, just fucking about in it, pretty much. And then didn't do a legal street though because that's illegal, obviously. And um, wink, wink. Like, my, yeah, <laughs> my first comp was RDC 2017, and then come second in that. And then went to Drift Cup uh, same year and then won that. And then that got me to BDC and then that was it. It's a little Boy Wonders style job. Went in, cleared up everywhere, straight to BDC. <laughs> just uh, leaped around a little bit and now yeah. Here we are. You've been flying around the world, going drifting in Oman, living the dream. I mean, yeah, that was um, definitely highlight of the year. Probably for the next couple of years, I reckon. But yeah, that was such a cool experience to go over there. And like Andy said the other night, them Oman like nationals are so so helpful. They'll just go out of your way completely. And I think we was trying to find something for my gearbox at like two in the morning. But we was just running around and getting to people, like getting people to weld stuff. And but it was, wow, like, what happened? Morning. Did you get a break? No, it's yeah, an SR. Yeah. It wouldn't break. Uh, hey! Yeah. <laughs> 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 the um, tank in the we had like issues with the release bearing, so we were just trying to get that fixed, and then we got it all sorted. But yeah, we had a few issues with it, and just been a bit of pain in the ass, really. But, Typical drift cars. Yeah, literally. You know enough. Well, while you were there, you got to battle Daigo Saito. Yeah, I mean, that was a um, thing I never thought would happen, ever. I mean, yeah, just to, like, line up with them on the same, like, grid. Yeah. Insane. And then to take him one more time, it's just, like, proper surreal. And it's a bit of a reality check, isn't it, when you look to your side and see someone like that? Yeah, and he just, like, kept crashing into me for fun, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> I think Luke's a bit bitter on. about Daigo Saito anyway, because he took his uh, championship yeah. off him, hasn't he? Did you know what? He, um, I never got a chance to race him. I knew there'd be an excuse. I knew there'd be an excuse. The thing is, right, I had an SR20. <laughs> 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 no, um, yeah, I never got a chance to battle him, to be fair, because he, he was in uh, South Africa with his Corvette. Car's unreal. Like, just mm. unreal. Like, I've never seen anything like that. And um, but yeah, I never got a chance to actually go against him, so I, I made a mistake and put myself out. I think it's for I put myself out the final, yeah. So I did third, fourth place, finished third in that event. But yeah, it was to to hit to see him drive in that that car is unreal. That is unreal. Um, he was still then he was full send, um, yeah. which was it's great to watch. But yeah, like Ollie said, to see to see that kind of thing. My when I. I think my pinch yourself moment was lining up when I was against Ken Block. I'd see Fiesta and I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like you then sit back and think, uh, yeah, that's, that's decent, man. Who won? You were? Who won? I was actually faster than him in Madrid. <laughs> 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 that's the question, Luke. Who won, then, mate? And then, yeah. And the other thing, like, with Jim Kahn and Grid, because you get all the different championship drivers and stuff, like World RX drivers, you've got like Petter and Johan Christopherson and that turning up. That's kind of, yeah, just unreal. So we've been doing loads of competitions, that kind of thing, but yeah, put, didn't kind of um, do the BDC or anything, because I thought there's no point in trying to trying to put semi-slicks on my SR, because it was no good. But 
look, but um, Ollie's obviously pedalling his car. Uh, Ollie, what power is your car? Mine's 450 at the wheels. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's decent. It's got decent power. The, the wheels, that's decent, yeah. yeah. That is decent. Start up a little less off, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching videos last night actually of uh, of the, all the old videos that are popping up. Some BDC stuff come up. Yeah. A Sam, Samco Sport video came up, and I was thinking how far things have moved on, and it's kind of come quite quickly. It kind of always got to a point where all of a sudden everyone changed. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like they're still like now all the cars are five fifty plus. Mm. You think like Ollie's car still now? That's four fifty at the wheels. That's that's like five hundred and fifty at the fly. That's yeah. you know, that's yeah. insane. Back in the day, you, there's a video I watched earlier. It was me, me and uh, me and you when you had the three fifty, and we were oh, good old days. Uh, that was at Knock Hill. Do you know when we got yeah. over Hill at Knock Hill? <laughs> yeah, yeah like both here with two hundred and fifty brake or something. Yeah, yeah. Think, thinking you know we were quick with yeah three hundred horsepower. Like, no tires. Yeah. No, no chance. And I actually spun on that one and gave the win away. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah, a bit that... away, mate. I just beat you. Yeah. <laughs> have you done much driving on semi slicks, Luke? I have now. Yeah, that's all I use now. Right. Um, so obviously, when we went to where was it? I think it's South Africa. Oh, before that, Liam Duran gave me some Achilles one two threes to use. Then I was kind of like, well, "What's this shit all about now?" Like, and then everyone. If you haven't got semi slicks, there's no point in going. Do you know what I mean? You need, yeah. you need to have the tyres and the power. Now. I think that's what stepped it up for everyone. What made everybody step the game up? Because everyone's like, there's no point me turning up without semi slicks. But then without the semi slicks, I need 500 horsepower. Yeah. And, yeah. and then you need your sequentials and your fancy diffs and everything else. So nothing else breaks, don't you? Mm. Yeah. That is a problem. I mean, you, you try to explain to people like there was a program about. Um, it's an old, I think it's an old Top Gear with Tiff Nadell, and he was in an F40, and it was 500, is it 450 horsepower, 500 and something horsepower, whatever it was, and like 1150 kilograms or 1200 kilograms. Mm. And I was like, well, hang on a second, like that's an old supercar, right? Drift cars nowadays, I weighed my car in with the V8, and it come in at 1180, and you think that's five, what's mine, 550 at the wheels? So yeah, you, it's stupid, that. Yeah, so you try and explain to people, oh yeah, but it's just a drift car. You like, you put it in. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're fast, fast cars. What LS is it that's in your car? Uh, it's a custom built LS, so you got like everything thrown at it, basically. But what yeah. is it like? To start off with, is it like a six basically, liter iron block or a... no? It's alley block. So she was five. Is it five seven? There's LS two. Then it's got LS three cranking that in it and bits and bobs and whatever else. Oh, um, some bits and bobs. Yeah, yeah, she's a bit, she's a bit, sir. So it's yeah. everything from cobbler. Out. Yeah. Cobbler, we call it. It's a six, yeah, it's a six litre now. Um, so it's an LS2. Yeah, so it's a six litre, uh, it's a six litre now, but obviously it had everything, because I didn't want to put a standard LS3 in there. i have driven a standard LS3 and I thought, I, if I'm going to do it, I want to do it and like make it proper mental. So that's, we kind of went that route about it. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't want a heavy V8 in there, so I didn't. You know, I didn't really know much about it when it kind of come about. Um, and I'd driven different V8s and stuff, and still wasn't sure of what I wanted. But obviously, I blew. I only blew one engine up. I thought Ollie were getting ready then. Yeah, he did. Having a free drink, thinking free drink for the SR. Blew one SR. <laughs> he, he jumped the gun. It's not blow up. It's all good. I mean, yeah. I, to be fair, like Julian built my SR right, and I only ever had metal head gasket in it um and it was running 380 horsepower we had it on race fuel um and it never missed a beat to be fair it was great it Did was julian build yours as well Ollie? yeah built mine three years ago i think what same engine done three years yeah same engine and now he's building the new engine what, what is, is new engine? engine what's that what is your new engine oh, a secret mate no one watches these anyway just tell <laughs> us <laughs> <what's your new laughs> engine? It's just, uh, it's just us four, mate. No one knows. It's V8, isn't it? You have them. No, of course it ain't. <laughs> what engine is it? Come on, peer pressure. Just tell us. What do you reckon it is? What does it rhyme with? What's that? Does it, it, does it rhyme with... with uh... Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it married to Beyonce? Nah. Is it I'll be. Like... 
So it's not a JZ or an RB? It's an RB. Look at his little smirky face. <laughs> Julian's RB, man. Nah, he, he's not. He's SR22. Uh, don't know. Don't know what you're on about. <laughs> cut, cut him off, Adam. <laughs> you know, where, where's your car at minute, Ollie? In the sea somewhere. So. It is on its way back. Well, Have they not paused the boats? Has the boat not stopped because of Corona? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> uh, it should be back end of the month, so I don't know if we'll be able to pick it up or not. But well, if it's got to have like a bit of quarantine or something. Yeah, I reckon they'll want to like take it all out and I don't know. Definitely. Is the new engine? Is the new engine going to be in before you use it, or when, when's it happening? Yeah, it'll be it. Yeah, I mean, if it ain't, then I'll just use Beach's car. Are you not worried about spinning on every corner in Beach's car? It does seem to be an issue with Beach's car. The alignment's <laughs> out every time. Every time. You need to sort the alignment now, so I might have half a chance. Yeah. Have you actually you know, jump in it and keep car? spinning? What's that? What if you actually jump in it and keep spinning? Maybe it's the <laughs> car. Maybe Beach is absolutely mint, really. Yeah, and then, oh, then I suppose it'd be going on the trailer, wouldn't it? It would be quite funny, like, you just That's turn up and start spinning on every corner. I might just do that anyway, just for... Just for to, be, to, be fair, <laughs> to be fair to Beachy, he drove... we done a competition that... That's BHP at Lidnil. Yeah. And we both finished joint first. And we had to... We split what? the win... Yeah, we Can't have been a very good competition, mate. There was two of us, <laughs> me and Beachy. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> and you got a solid one, too. Yeah, so we split the winnings. <laughs> no, he's a good lad, Beachy. Yeah, he is. We're only joking. <laughs> have you had a go in his car yet, Ollie? Um, I've got it off the trailer and put it in the workshop, so no. Right. <laughs> that was literally it. Yeah, it's gone from trailer to workshop and then Julian, so yeah, ain't even drove it. I was meant to do a pod day in it before all this kicked off and then it just weren't going to be ready. So then we pulled that off and then the next one we was booked in at um, got cancelled because of coronavirus, so was that. No good. So, Not yeah. ideal. So instead, you sat here talking to us, idiots. Well, yeah. You know, lost <laughs> results and all that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Got nothing better to do. I might as well. Yeah. This uh, That's the time. <laughs> trophy truck thing that you've got, Luke. Yeah. What's all that about? What's that is uh, just some fun. That thing. That's insane. So that's basically to take the strain off of the comp car because obviously I was doing all the demos in the 14 um, and obviously as a marketing tool it's great because it's insane and it, at the time there was only me who had one in Europe where now I think Terry Grant got one as well um, so it's a V8 space frame V8 um, about 450 horsepower rear wheel drive um, so yeah it's, it's insane if you've seen like if you watch if you go onto YouTube and watch, like, putting Crandon, like, V8 racing and stuff, that's the track they race at. It's insane. It's just, like, we're so unlucky not to have the space in the UK to be able to do what they do in America. Yeah. Because it's insane. So, yeah, it's basically one of them. It's an, it's an older one. But still, like, Matt knows, like, we took up the lane by the workshop and had a little mess around. And it's, it is good fun. Yeah, it makes you smile like a little kid, doesn't it? It's good fun. <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. Every time you get in it, it's just, like, yeah. It's mad because you don't even you can drive it like a drift car, it's just sideways everywhere, just have the best time and hit jumps of it, and yeah, it's insane fun. I think any car that you can say yeah, hit jumps with it is a pretty cool car. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, yeah, there is that point. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could hit jumps in, I guess, in any car. I'd like to do an E92, but it's landing them. That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, I think you can all take off. It's landing is the issue. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, you have it. Have a go, mate. Have a go. What, in yours? Uh, what, no, in the Z4, four, mate. Z4. No, I'd have a go in my 36. <laughs> I'd like to do it. I want to jump some at some point. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Been, I've, I've done a few jumps now, like half decent size. And you showed me that good one, didn't you, Luke? Yeah, that's going to... Yeah, I might release that soon, actually. <laughs> have you uh, raced that truck? No, no. There's no there is nowhere to, over here to race it. There's, right. A couple of lads, off-road lads, have reached out and said I can go along and do. It's like a cross-country trial type thing, but like a yeah, shit version of King of Hammers. Yeah, yeah, I think I don't know much about it, but I just 
I had no windscreen or nothing in it. Do you know what I mean? And I don't know what it's all What's about. Put some goggles on. No, you obviously wear your crash helmet in there, but <laughs> I don't know. It's one of them things where I need to look into it a little bit more to see where I can use it. Well, Adam, what's that? You know, remember, you know, Brad at Bram Racing? Yeah. What is it that he does? He does some sort of off-road racing type thing. Um, that's like some crazy V8 buggy thing, isn't it? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's putting you head in this now, I think. Right. But you did, so you, you didn't race that, Luke, but you did, I remember you doing a bit of rallycross. Yeah, I did. Um, I raced this Suzuki Swift in the British Championship for a couple of rounds. How did you get on in that? Yeah, it went really well, to be fair. Um, had engine problems in the first round, which, Sounds yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. But anyway, um, then I went to Croft and Pembury and... Yeah, put it on the front row at um, at Croft, and then like rally cross is not meant to be contact, but obviously there was contact and damage to the steering and got took out. Um, but some of the best fun ever, and I raced in um, Silverstone in the British Rally Cross in the RX150 buggies. Right. So they like, oh mate, they're, now they're mental. They're, what, what engines they? What what are they? Uh, CBR <laughs> thousand engines. SR, about, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Now these are yeah fireblade engines, so thousand cc fireblade engine with tuned ECUs. So they're good for like what 180 horsepower something like that. It's something that weighs as much as a crisp packet. Yeah, so you put like you shit your pants and them things. You just go through the gears and just hold on for dear life. Are um, the manual, yeah. You are. Are the manual? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Bike engine. Yeah, it's a sequential box in them. Yeah, so you just bang. They got uh, I think it's a quake box in them, and you bang up. Through the gears and yeah, now they're proper fun. They are. No, good. Have you had any other? Obviously, because these are all opportunities through months, aren't they? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the the <laughs> British stuff that the RX150 wasn't. That was through a friend of mine. But yeah. But have you had any other opportunities to race anything else other than them that we know about, like rally cross and your drifting and stuff? Um. Yeah. Well, Monster gave me great opportunities to do all sorts. So, um, what did we do? Ah. Oh, well, through Monster, yeah, I went for a passenger ride with Petter. Old your phone face still, it's making me dizzy looking at this. <laughs> you are. It's not, mate, it's just because you've had a couple too many beers. I'm not having a second beer, I'm <laughs> steady Luke's, away. Luke's actually holding his phone still. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I went out for a passenger ride in, with uh, Petter at his house in an Evo rally car. That was probably one of the most frightening things I've ever done in my life. At his house? At his house. Yeah, he has, yeah, he's got a bit of land and... Like, there's a WRC Sweden stage used to run through his land. That's so, how you've made it in life, isn't it? That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah so you've got a rally stage on your back garden. Yeah, yeah pretty much. So I went out, yeah, I went out in an Evo with, with him there, and that was, yeah, that was frightening, that was. On gravel as well, so. In fact, yeah. I think you posted a video, didn't you, on some clubs there, and you fell off. Did I, no, I didn't crash. <laughs> Somebody crashed. <laughs> Nearly. Yeah. Um, who went there? Yeah, we went. I went for a ride with Oliver. Um, we went through the woods, went fishing, messed about, did some, did some racing, and yeah, that's good fun. They're, they're, I'm they're, dicking they're, about. Yeah, they, that's another level. Do you know what I mean? They're 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 a great family though, I and mean, yeah, it's good to hang, hang out at their house and get up to mischief. So, we'll chuck it back to Ollie. Uh, we've had, obviously, we've been doing this a couple of nights now, a couple of three nights. Pretty much every time you've been mentioned as somebody who's been the BDC Championship, oh, great. No are you uh, feeling a bit of pressure on your shoulders? What do you think to everyone saying that you're the next one to take it? I mean, that would be pretty cool, like, if I could. But I reckon one o'clock is... Um, He's going to be a contender because obviously because he finished second, I reckon if he don't have a crash like he did on the last one, I reckon he's got it. Yeah, he's got the confidence behind him, and he like. Yeah. That's a big part of it, though. You need it, don't you? You need the confidence. Yeah. yeah he pedals that car so well, and it's a pilot as well. So. so you're not feeling the pressure of people saying that you're the the next one to take it, or? I mean, obviously, yeah, because it's like if people expect it, then you got to push, push harder, and but obviously that's what I want to try and do anyway. But yeah, it's just 
saying it and doing it are two different things. So. I thought you'd have been chelping in there, would him, saying that you're going to fucking win and all this, that and other. I just keep him quiet, mate. That's <laughs> <laughs> first, mate. <laughs> nah, nah, to be fair, like, I think there's... Um, have you watched much at BDC over the last couple of years? Yeah, yeah, I watched pretty much every round. Um, so who, who do you think is going to win Pro and Pro 2 next year? I kind of agree with Ollie. One o'clock would be a danger. But uh, there's up-and-coming drivers who are popping up everywhere. So, I mean, you, you don't, on the day, someone could have a good day. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the main thing about drifting, isn't it? It's literally somebody can look the best through yeah. qualifying practice. And yeah. then just make one mistake and you're gone, aren't you? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, it it depends on who, where, and when. Do you know what I mean? If the car's running good at the time, if they're feeling that, do you know what I mean? Like you, you, a bit of luck on your side, you might come up against people who are kind of easier to battle through compared to other people. You you never know of it. That's the kind of the fun thing about it. Um, but yeah, I, are you better at qualifying or battles, Luke? He doesn't know he's not competed for that long. <laughs> <laughs> I think qualifying and sticking to the line is one thing. Do you know what I mean? And then when you go to battle, and if the driver in front of you is not sticking to the line, it makes it a little bit harder um, to chase. Uh, I don't mind it either way. I've done, you know, I've done probably more driving now than what I've done before when I was competing. Because you know, we've done. <clears throat> I did. There's like passenger rides in Slovenia. We had like 40 passenger rides to do with me and Bagsy. And we would like twin them with each other, swap them around. And so, I mean, I'm now a better driver for all the seat time that I've got because the key is just driving, it's just seat time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You, you said can't... that. Like, over the last few days, I've had quite a bit of seat time in my car, like sat here talking to you. All, <laughs> <laughs> all, all, better, I, seem... Buddy, mate. <laughs> all I seem to have done is broke my handbrake from pulling it and fucking about with it while I'm talking. And I can't get reversed on my gear thing now. Because buttons broke on top of gear stick. So I think this seat time just fucking me over. Yeah. It's... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, if you can obviously drive them whenever and wherever, I don't think it matters what you're driving as long as you're driving something. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I think a great starting point now is sim racing and sim drifting like you see i think like the shanahan's are at it like constant and you see like mitch lana's doing it do you know what i mean everyone's everyone's doing it and they're credible drivers who Alan have, Hines proved it, didn't he? yeah exactly yeah prime example he like you knew he what was, about this other lad down here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that everybody yeah, said he's gonna win who sat on his sim at minute <laughs> getting seat time in yeah I mean I think any bit of driving is going to help um, like I say whoever whoever comes out on top will come out on top I think there could be there could be a handful of drivers who could pull it out of the bag without a doubt I think you never one thing I've always said is never underestimate anyone anyone because you, you know what I mean it come back and bite you in your ass mm. well look at for, for example Poland when we did Jim Connor grid like we're taking the piss out of like MX5s and stuff the dude, Mantas, come along and he won it. Do you know? And you're just like, well, hang on a second. He was up against me, Bagsy, Dargo Saito. But then... Ever, Easy went... run to the final, then. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Easy run to the final, yeah? <laughs> yeah, he's won. And then he, uh, so he got given that one, basically. Um, no, do you know what I mean? Like, he, he had... He's a good driver. And he come through, worked hard, and kind of got the results. He went up against like some of the best drivers in Gymkhana, but they made mistakes and it's how it can happen on the day. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's what yeah, happened. Yeah. What about you, Ollie? Are you a, a qualifier or a battler? Um, what are you better I'm at? qualifying with a passion. Hate it. Because, because you're no good at it or because you're... Why is that? No, it's just like, I think it's the mindset. Like, I'm not bad at qualifying if I can get in the right mindset. But it's just like, sometimes it just proper like does me over and then... That's it. Like, I've never yeah. not qualified, but I've, like, most of the time, like, not happy with my qualifying. Mm. So, I prefer battles, definitely, because you're, like, in the moment and you're just trying to, you're trying to win, isn't it? So, yeah. 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 I'd go for battles on that one, definitely. 
So you're a battler. <laughs> uh, Lou, why are you coming back to BDC? Why Why now? Why not? He's missed us. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've... Is it because Matt's been pestering you? <laughs> yeah. I am pestered him that much. <laughs> He's non-stop pestering me. Matt, that, can I, can I? That's a lie. That's a lie. No, um, <laughs> just because I think um, I'm just ready now, basically. I've been driving more than not. I've been driving before um and was out driving what i had do you know what i mean and then instead of i looked at different choices of what i was going to do and thought let's go you know v8 wise i love the way the v8 goes how it responds to like my input that's brilliant this suits my driving so that was the kind of the first tick off was like let's get that done and and get that kind of in the car and then it was like well, where are we going to go now so it was BDC obviously you know we want to I need to prove myself to be a credible driver so we'll go to BDC see how we get on and then see what we can do and go from there really like it's just I just want to have fun driving basically you That's fancy drift masters yeah I mean this is what I mean you could I can probably jump into drift masters but I need to earn that right if you know what I mean yeah. it's, it's the best way of doing it so if you Say you do well at BDC, is that something you'd do? Potentially. I mean, you, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I guess so. I've never really... I'll You're not drive, thinking that far in front. I'll, I'll drive anywhere. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't mind. If you say there's a competition to do here, there, or... Oh, yeah, I'm all over that. Do you know what I mean? Like, let's just do whatever. But, so, it, maybe. I mean, let's see how we get off with BDC whenever kind of we get given the go-ahead to start again. I mean... We would do that. I know, obviously, the one that I was really looking forward to was Teesside, where we had the double header. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because then you, you don't know who might come out from that. Um, you know, you might get a good result. You might not. So, you know, who knows? Who knows? What about you, Ollie? Would you, if, say, you do well this year, would you go and do Drift Masters next year? So, I mean, obviously, it's like, you want to go and do as many events as possible. But I'll do whatever comes up. But obviously, Drift Masters is like quite a higher caliber of drivers and competition and whatnot. And like Luke said, like you got to feel like you've earned to go there. But, um, yeah, but if you've won, if you've finished top two in BDC and you've got your license, then you've earned it, haven't you? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. If, I suppose if you get yeah that kind of finish in BDC, then yeah, I'd like to go and give it a shot. Definitely. Yeah, I think it'd be. Would good. your body shop stay open if you uh, went and had all that time off to do? Drift Masters. I'll be, uh, be going drifting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Body shop can survive. Body you what, sorry? The body shop can survive without me there. That's all good. Yeah, that's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. That's what you want. What, what else on the script, Adam? <laughs> it's just the same old shit, isn't it? We'll just ask everybody <laughs> the same old stuff. Your dream car, what is it, Luke? Money's uh, no object. Mind you, he has, he's got monster money now, hasn't he? So he can build his new car. He's loaded. Yeah, he's absolutely loaded. <laughs> I heard people calling, it, calling him Luke, Luke getting junior. <laughs> um, as in, what type of car? As in, like, dream car? As in uh, drift car. car like, drift car. Um, S14 with an SR in it. Yeah, no. Nah, <laughs> I'd, I'd have to say something like James Dean's BMW um, or an E92 yeah I'd say something like that full carbon Kevlar or carbon fiber or, or maybe like something like Soltan's S15 do you know yeah. what I mean I, I don't know really it's, it's difficult there's so many great platforms and the good thing with drifting you can put anything engine wise in the chassis. Do you know what I mean? So ah, I don't know. I don't know. Do you it's, think it's, is Sultan already of your monster friends coming over to BDC this year? I've, I've Frank Z, so. Tess, I so. Sultan. Yeah, I think I think everyone would like to do it. Um, it's just if obviously the events they don't clash with anything else that we're all doing. Um, it'd be great to have the whole kind of gang like whole lot of you there. Yeah. Did we, did we release it on? I, don't, I can't put it out there, but Sultan is hoping to come over and do some. Yeah. 
Did we yeah. put it on BDC thing? I think we did. Uh, and is it what in the '86? Yeah, that Darren's building. Yeah. 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 I went to a pub with John Allen when he were over, and he was telling us all about it. Apparently, it's going to be some crazy. It's going to be a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy thing that they're building. Yeah, D Mac were quite happy that everything got delayed a little bit because uh, <laughs> it, it were, he had a lot of cards to. But he's hoping to come over as well and do a bit of driving. Uh, yeah, John said. I he's think. I think ninety percent of the grid's kind of happy that coronavirus <laughs> yeah. has happened because yeah. no one had the cars finished. I'm sat in mine, mate. I'm just pretending I'm driving now. <laughs> I'm ready to go. One's in the sea somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, John Allen was saying like D Max putting the engine out of the it's the spare engine from the S14 D Max used to drive in FD. All right. Oh, yeah. Years ago. Yeah. So yeah. it's the spare engine from that car that they're putting into his S13. And then he's doing a season of BDC. Into his S13? Into Darren's S13, the left hand drive one. Oh, for Darren to drive. For Darren to drive. Oh, I thought you were about for Sultan because Sultan's got an 86. Yeah. That'd be pretty, that pretty mental. Yeah. The what, Ollie? Is that the white 86? Um, it's actually. Is it, it is right or? now. The one that Darren's putting together on Facebook yeah. and stuff is yeah. Sultan's car. Yeah. Ah, right, okay. I didn't know who that was. Yeah. So, what about you, Ali? Your dream car? What car is it? What engine package? What engine package, mate? <laughs> 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 I don't want to say it now, just because of that. You could no. get Julian to build it here as well, mate. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I quite like S15s. I don't know what they drive like, but I think they're quite cool. And like, well, if you're not that busy, like, you have got one in your garage that you could yeah, just... That's true, actually. <laughs> I wonder if each you'll like, notice if it goes in <laughs> my garage. No, I think, like, just some insane engine. I do quite like the idea of, like, an RV. Like, no. Oh, yeah. All oh, right, <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. Like, um, it's oh, funny that, because I know uh, Julian, who's your engine builder, likes RVs as well. <laughs> <laughs> nice little sort of combination. Give the car to Julian and say, do whatever you want. Yeah. No, but I think something like that would be pretty cool. I mean, I do like the 13, so I don't really want to change it, to be fair. Do you um, think you'll stick with that chassis for a, quite a bit? Yeah, unless I completely write it off. and then Which could happen at any point, I guess. Exactly. But I've got a spare one sitting there. So. Yeah. What, Ian's? Bondos. No, I've, your number one fans. I reckon I've, <laughs> I reckon I've had like ninety percent of his car anyway. It's on my car. I, I did hear a little rumor of a day that um, you only you only did as well as what you did because Ian influenced people. Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how it works, obviously. Come on. Yeah, no, Ian's a good boy. So is your, is your car a uh, UK S thirteen? Uh, yeah, it's the UK one, yeah. How is it? There's still something left of it. <laughs> Does it have pl- plenty of hours in body shop getting welded up? I mean, to be fair, that's the only thing. When I brought the car, that's the only thing that I had going for it. It weren't rusty. Everything else, it was it was a shed, like proper shed. There's a bit of like a theme on this, isn't there? <laughs> Andy Frost yesterday speaking to him. Like, yeah, I bought this car. It was a shed. Yeah, but like it was the thing of I thought it was a good car and it just weren't. It was such a dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know it were Struggle's old car. Do you remember Struggle, Matt? Yeah, that was his S13. Oh really? Yeah, back in the day. So That's it'll be that out, old floor. I'm pretty sure it was Dan Brown's as well. My yeah, mind. yeah, he bought it off Struggle. Yeah. Did Did Struggle have the 13 first or the 14? He had the 14 and then he reshelled it into a 13. Which is now Ollie's car. Right. Small world. That's not yeah. great then, that. Yeah. What about you, Luke? Because yours is a UK car. Uh, yeah, I think so. It was an old chassis that um, I got off bags, actually. Um, a couple of years back now. So. That's oh, not so it's not, old, is it? It's not your original car. No, nah, nah, that thing was absolute rotten, that thing. We'd smashed it to pieces, written it off. About ten times. The one that you got off bags in it have a red roll cage in it. No, no, no. It was all unpainted at the time. Ah, right. 
I was going to say uh, that could have been your car, Matt. Yeah, it could have been my I think I flogged one to bags here a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, no, this one, I don't know, that's his street car thing. Yeah, yeah no, I had this probably like four, four years ago, three years ago. And then um, then I reshelled it, what, two two years ago, something like that. Did you reshell it when you did the LS swap? No, no, no. So I reshelled it. Um, it took us a week to do a full reshell, threw the SR back in. We, yeah, I said, drink up, boys. Um, and then, yeah, used that for the rest of the season. So I reshelled it halfway through the season. Um, which Obvious is, time to do a reshell, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Dickhead. <laughs> yeah, you know what, though? Yeah, yeah, but Luke's season isn't actually a season. He just does it, picks and chooses what he wants. <laughs> yeah. Now, my season's all, yeah, my season starts before anyone else's and finishes after everyone else's as well. Um, it's because you're an athlete, mate. That's it. Because we, we finished, we finished in like, um, was it November, October, November time, we did like Jim Carney Grid in Africa. So obviously by the time we got the car, but like Ollie, like shipped it over and shipped it back again. It was quite late. Um, we done a few, Go on. Uh, Yeah, we done, this year started off really quite soon because done auto sport demos so that kicked off january so that was a little bit weird like to go driving straight away straight after christmas how was that how did they go the auto sport demos oh mate like insane insane just so much fun we had what did we do thursday friday saturday and sunday we had five on saturday five and sunday um but in the end we jumped in doing um the finale as well so we were kind of out twice so it was just the most amount of driving. And to be fair, my car didn't miss a beat, which I was really happy about because I kind of messed up and um, overlooked the cooling side of things with a V8. Didn't realise how hot they actually can get and how quickly they can get hot. And um, right. it was just my own fault. Didn't have big enough fans basically on the rad. So and so in Poland, it got hot and I couldn't control the heat. So how hot? Ah, uh, only 105. That's not even hot, mate. <laughs> no, no, but we still. had this conversation yesterday. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to give a couple of my tips. Don't look at the dash, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that. You know, the, the reason why you know it's hot is when steam's going out your bonnet. <laughs> or you're on fire. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, because it's a new engine, I didn't want to get to that point. So we kind of, I was a little bit, like, I was over worrying about things as well. Um, yeah. But we changed the fans. Um, Change the fans out to two decent, two decent spell fans, and yeah, it literally like kicked its ass all the way through autosport, and it didn't miss a beat. So really happy with that. Really happy with how it's kind of gone now. And then what else did I do? Oh, I did some um, did some passenger rides in Valencia. So we went along, me and Bagsy to um, the Lewis. Is Hampton. this after autosport? No, this was just before autosport as well. Okay. Yeah, so we did Lewis Hamilton versus Valentino Rossi. So we were there for that, which was really cool. Um, and did all the passenger rides for the guests and stuff, which, which was good fun. So it's a great chance to test the car and to see what it could do. Um, which it was, comes back to seat time as well, doesn't it? You're, the car works, you're obviously testing that and you're smashing seat time. It's yeah. a good head start compared to someone like, I don't know, Adam. Sat there, I was doing his testing it in the garage. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> I'm still trying to get into reverse. I don't know what the fuck I've done to this shit. <laughs> don't tell oh, Jason watching this, he's going to kick off at you. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a great start to, to be honest, like to get driving as much as possible. Um, so yeah, I was excited. Round one, I mean, I was, I was 90% ready for it. But... So when, when are you going to get a car like Bags's GTR? Like, I, I, like, you've got one drift car, he's got about 27. <laughs> when are you going to get a fleet? I've got the pro, I've got the pro light and uh, and the car. The pro light is the demo, the demo car now. Um, but then again, it, you know, we I seem to use <coughs> the 14 more now. <coughs> Shut up, use the 14. Who is your dog? Uh, oh, fuck me, our last. Who is your dog? <laughs> hang on. Come here, <laughs> Make it do a trick. <laughs> What's he called? Dennis. <laughs> Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> Little shit. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Have, yeah, you, got, probably... have you got a dog, Ollie? Yeah, we got three. Get him up. <laughs> <laughs> so what, 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 what do you want to get, Jeffy? <laughs> yeah. 
He was on last night, mate. He had cameo last night, didn't he? <laughs> Go on, Luke, sorry. I forgot what I'm saying now. We're Go talking on. about you having the two cars and Bagsy having 27. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, you know I mean, I've, you know, fortunate enough to have the two, which is great because obviously the 14 was getting a beating, but still now I still want to drive the 14 more because it's like new engine and stuff so i'm kind of really excited about driving it still every time i get in it and i'm like t- start it up and stuff that's just like oh man i just kind of forget that it's got the v8 in there and it's i get all excited and happy about driving it again <laughs> <laughs> that's good though it's, you know you're not it's not like you're just driving because it's a sort of job but you still obviously love what you do which is good a hundred i mean who who wouldn't do you know what i mean it's it's some of the stuff that it's yeah, it's mad. Some of the stuff I have to pinch myself and, you know, remember, like... Is it your job now? Pretty much. When I'm in the winter and stuff, um, if it's quiet, then obviously I'll go back to doing what I was usually doing, like building and plastering. But half the time, is I'm so busy driving throughout the normal season that we, I don't actually get time to do it. So Does your dad still go with you a lot of places? Um, no, he, he used to... Yeah, I know he misses it. He came to, I took him to Autosport with me. Mm. So I said to him, if you want to come along, like come and experience the whole thing from start to finish. Like things have changed now. It's like, it's, it's proper hectic. So I was like, come, come along to Autosport. So he did the whole from Thursday onwards and kind of like got to Saturday night and he was like, ah, I'm tapping out. I can't come out and have a beer. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> kind of thing. So, <laughs> it's, yeah, there's a lot of partying because I've got Autosports with We've done a couple, haven't we, Matt? I don't know what you mean, mate. It's not in my nature. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink. That's part of it. That's part of it is, is the social side of things. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you kind of like mingling with people, different people, yeah. and it's that's... it's a good place to meet a lot of people as well, isn't it? That's... Yeah, I mean, wherever you go, like uh, you know, the events that like Ollie's been to and stuff. You know, abroad, you kind of meet different people. You kind of realise that the UK is actually quite a small place. Do you know what I mean? And when you when you get out and you, you kind of start travelling, you're thinking, holy shit, there's a lot of people who enjoy the sport of like drifting and Jamkana and stuff. And you kind of all share the same passion. So to go out, you, you have a, for example, for like Gap Bill and stuff, you walk through the paddock and there could be like 200 drivers and each person has their own setup and they kind of have their own like barbecue and party. So it takes you like two hours to go down to like the main stage for the party because you're kind of talking to everyone on the way down. So that's one thing, one event that you boys need to get out to for sure. Oh, Gap. Gap Bill. Yeah. We need to go to Did Gap you Bill, take yeah. that 4 four thing to Gap Bill? Yeah, yeah. So I took that last year. Um, what, were you drifting it around the track? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was insane. Like, it was mental. <laughs> insane. <laughs> that's one of those things you won't want, like, being on your door. You're like, <laughs> look, at side, you're around, <laughs> look out at passing your window and there's a fucking 4 before there. It was, yeah, I think it was Tor Ringers said to me, like, he's part of, like, Freddie Asbro's crew, like, type yeah, yeah, yeah. So he said to me, he was like, holy shit, man. When like, I was in the door of him and he was just like, I looked back and thought, what the fuck is going on? It was, <laughs> it's just insane. You, you have so much fun driving. So I think that one of them moments, again, was I was going up the main straight, like, absolutely pinned in my car. Like, what, for the first time I went there, probably four or five years ago, thinking, like, I was going for it. And then Asbo came past me, like, fully lit. Quite well, like you weren't moving. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> holy shit, like, that's insane. I hope on next lap you went, I'm doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Full send. Yeah. You, you, can, you can enter the, tr- the Rudd Scogan, the circuit, you can enter the, the back straight, it goes down the hill. You can, as big as your balls are, you can go. Like, there's no restriction. Like, you can go flat. If you're brave enough, you can hit it absolutely flat out. And the track is insane. Do you know what I mean? Like, it is insane. I just every time I go there, it's like the one event that I want to try and get to every year without fail is definitely going to get. How many laps do you actually get, like, to a set of tyres? Do you just get, like, one lap and you're in? I mean... Or do you it, just, like, drift off the track? Or do you... What, it, how does it work? It depends, yeah. So you go out in sessions. So you'll have, like, 10, 15-minute sessions. Um... With the SR, I used to get in quite a few laps, obviously. But I, I'm, I'm out of drink now. Well, <laughs> I'll crack yeah. the wine. Crack the wine off them, mate. But yeah, I think 
if you've got decent horsepower, like with the V8 now, I don't know if I'll get okay. many laps. Lap. How long's the track? How long is it for a lap? Is it um, a couple of minutes? Probably the length of Silverstone. If right. there's anybody out there who like who's a drink, wine drinker, Marks and Spencer's Rosé <laughs> is at the one. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like, Lam- like Lambrini when you were a young lad. <laughs> I'd rather drink a bottle of Lambrini, mate. It tastes like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have a SR. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a big trap. It is a big trap. It is a big trap. You know, you're silver, you're probably the Lemper Silverstone GP circuit. Hmm. So, and you can drift. Yeah, I need, I need to get that, definitely. Yeah. Without, without a doubt, it is a bucket list. Savage. What other stories you got for us, Ollie? What did you do before drifting? So if you, what, what on earth did you do? I didn't know anything else existed. Like, what would you have done? Um, done a bit of motocross, but nothing good. Just general shit. Yeah, that was just more of a hobby. Going tracks on the weekend. Just having a rip about pretty much. And then kept coming off. Well, when you come off it, that's the next way. Yeah, uh, <laughs> dangerous game, motorbikes. Yeah, got in four wheels and then started from there, really. If you ever see Martin Richards, ask him about the motorbike and all the went off. He <laughs> was the fucking one. <laughs> it worked very good. It was, uh, <laughs> it was really sketchy, weren't you? Like, disappointingly, a bit of a fanny, really. Yeah, you're a faggot. <laughs> 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 Me and Topo couldn't ride the motorbikes either, but at least we tried. <laughs> really? He just went in the little kiddies group, didn't he? It went really slow. <laughs> yeah, the first day he fucked off with a man and a woman, didn't he? Who'd never ridden a motorbike before. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was when he saw me flip it straight away up top of the drive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then, yeah, from, from there, really, just when, yeah, RDC, Drift Club, BDC. How old are you? Ollie. How old? 23. So, Wando is actually a paedophile. He's 23. Is that what he said? 23. Yeah. yeah. Bloody children. He had an odd paper round, mate. How old are you, Luke? Yeah, these are dickheads. What am I now? 31. Oh, you're old then, yeah. Am I, th- I am 31, yeah. I think that's about the average age, isn't it? 30 ish. People yeah. like competing and stuff. Yeah, when we started, what was that, 20, 25? 20, 20, yeah, 24, 25, something like that. Um, we were young then, do you know what I mean? Connor, <laughs> Jenna, he bought we the average age. We didn't know yeah. what we were doing, did we? We had no idea what we were doing. No, Have we you two close. got any questions for Matt about BDC? Any inside info you want to know? Anything yeah. like that? When's first round? <laughs> <laughs> April 2021. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it weren't to be fair. No, we're having we're having drifting this year. I promise you. It'll be the busiest six months, end of the year, won't it? Like from yeah. June onwards, it's going to be like every weekend. It's going to be flat out. It's looking that way. Are you going to do Buxton, Luke? Um, I am in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Matt have spoken about this. <laughs> He's bringing the truck to Buxton. We're yeah. going to oh, make yeah. a jump. What, are you yeah. going to do a jump? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you're going to be the person that's jumping over. Yeah. I was just going to say, can I stay underneath it? <laughs> <laughs> Lay down like, no, you cannot be a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have to get that, get rid of that belly, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, we just put Ben on. And in fact, where is Ben? Ben said he was joining us like 10 minutes in. It's loads better without him, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he just chat shit. They're saying Buxton. It depends on um because Jim Carter grid finals are at the end of the year. Oh right. So my car will probably be shipped. Um, so yeah, I'll bring the truck along and we can have many many fun times in the truck. I've got a caged up Z3. If you want to borrow it, two point eight Ripper. Shit. Rip last round. It depends. Like I said, it depends how I get on. To be fair, in the season, because it might be. What if you're winning everything? You're a top. Of, you're like top of championship. But if you are winning everything in BDC and you could take the championship, would you fuck Jim Carnegie up? 
Or oh, would you send the truck to Jim Carney Grid <laughs> and you'd leave your 14 here? No, I couldn't. I mean, this Jim Carney Grid is like mental. Do you know what I mean? I can't, it's unreal. You just, the people that attend, like the other drivers and stuff, I, that's my. That's, that's your my, thing. Yeah, that's more. I, I know you're saying this, but you've lost last few years, haven't you? So, <laughs> is it really your thing? <laughs> Maybe it used to be your thing, mate. <laughs> Not so yeah. Much now. It, um, I've podiumed every year, apart from Poland last year. So uh, that, that was a that was a gut wrencher because obviously it was my own fault. Um, you know, I couldn't. It was my own kind of silliness of not sorting out. Not I'm enough. sure. If, I'm Thanks. sure if you're doing all right at BDC, somebody will lend you a car for Buxton. Yeah, we can. We can work something out. I just, I mean, that's bags has got enough funny to lend you on one yeah. of the fleet. Yeah. <laughs> Matt's got Matt. You got a BMW kicking about in you? Mate, you don't uh, want to drive that. It's fucking horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. But in fact, no. Borrow it at Buxton, and then just do a lap, and then just go. You're right, Simon. <laughs> it is the worst that, car then. ever. What if I, I'm just trying to get this thing back going again, get it going, and then maybe... Yeah, Matt's, got, it, and Matt, Matt doing this. is putting an engine in it to sell it, and I'm just here like, ah, it's the shittiest car ever. Uh, Ollie, <laughs> what about you and you and Wando? I can't even is see Ollie the, anymore. Turn your light on, on me. Yeah, it's gone a bit Why dark. Oh, yeah, shit. proper dark. I'm on, I'm on Temp Step now. Put a big light on, mate. Nothing's changed, mate. He's run out of electric. He's not paid his bill, has he? He spent it all on Beach's car. <laughs> What's he doing? Lighting a candle? <laughs> he's starting a fire. How big's his house? Where's he going to the, to the switch? Left wing. Left wing. <laughs> I thought he'd have oh. like a, an Alexa. What if he never comes back? Like that. <laughs> yeah, Lights. Lights, Turner. Is that any better? No, no. it's the same. Oh, exactly the same. Just turn big light on. As if he's not got a big light. Hey, oh, hey, we're getting there. We're getting there. He's got mood the lighting. Mood lighting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that it, Ali. Yeah, that's perfect, mate. Brilliant. So your you and Wando's love affair. Where did it start? What what sort of <laughs> what's going on? We we see a lot of him uh, wanking you off. I wonder where you were going to go with that. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. That was uh... well, he built the car, didn't he? So I think he likes it a little bit. I uh, think he likes you a little bit more. Boys, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? So we've got to stay together. Is Luke not from a six? No. You're south of Watford Gap, mate, so you live five minutes from Ollie. In my eyes. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm from like an hour away from Essex. So. What, Southampton? No, north, so like High Wickham. Where's that? Me and Adam went, no, nah, mate. No, yeah. we <laughs> We're like, ah, we know Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're going to have been out of Yorkshire? <laughs> we have, actually. Me and Matt went to IDC once. <laughs> But no, I think we've been going for just over an hour now, lads. Uh, oh, else you want to ask Matt any questions about BDC before we wrap up? There's no questions for me. There is. <laughs> we, I want some, the time this is done, I want some inside scoop. I've already BDC. told you, what did I tell you? Sultan's driving, I told you that, in his 86. Yeah, but you thought you'd already put that out on Facebook anyway. I don't know what happens, do I? I'm just... He's too big. He's the boss. He's got, he's got people working for him, isn't he? Yeah. People to do this. Matt Cross is texting him nagly. Why the fuck are you telling everybody that <laughs> Sultan's coming? What, do you think he's going to gonna tell me off? There'll be yeah. an annou- announcement tomorrow. By the way, fact, Sultan was driving. We've just said about Luke. He was in his truck. Yeah. That's meant to be a secret. That's, that's what, so would you, let, would you let Luke compete in the truck? No, don't be stupid. Why? <laughs> it says it says in the rule book, any other modifications and stuff is up to the director's thingy. Oh, the director's discretion. Thingy. Yeah, and I think yeah. I thought so. We're asking you now: Can Luke compete in his truck? 
No, I'd rather see him jump about doing stupid shit. We can still do that at half time. <laughs> well, maybe then. We'll see. I might use his truck and then compete in his truck. I'd rather not, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'd see you driving, mate. <laughs> you, to my face, you were like, yeah, you can have a go if you want, mate. Yeah, no, no, no. Now look at this. Now look two front at lads and he's going, I'll see you driving, mate. You're not driving this. <laughs> yeah, you can have a spin in it. No problem. Can I? No, you fucking can't. Well, I'm not fitting. Has it got a kirky seat? I'm not fitting it. No, it's got a little corbo seat in there, but to be fair, I'm quite big. I need to move. I need to charge my phone. Anyway. I know, mate. It's them press-ups you've been doing. 100 <laughs> press-ups have made you absolutely massive. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it enough for me, lad. Uh, we've done an hour. Yeah, we're, uh, good speaking to you, Bo. Listen, we should see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Good night, boys. Take it easy. Bye bye.